I want to show you the two two ways that I hang copper pipe. The first method is with a bell hanger. Uh, it looks like a little bell, that's why I call it a bell hanger. It's a hole in the metal. And you screw through the center here up to your joist and you hang your copper pipe through there. These are great when you don't have a lot of obstacles to go through. And uh, I try to use these as much as I can to make them look neat. The other option is kind of like a strap hanger. And you hang the strap from your joist. Um, I like to use these whenever um, you have a lot of obstacles. You gotta drop the pipe a little lower, uh, pull it up a little higher. Um, you gotta uh, go under heating pipes or whatever it may be. And you don't have a straight shot that's up against the joists. Um, this is what I would use. Okay. Um, this, these are really nice when you're running across joists up inside of them. You screw that on, and you run, um, you know, you come through, through like this, and uh, across your joist. These are real good. These keep the pipe close to the joists. These let it hang down a little farther. Um, they have a copper strap, which is basically me, just this part here. And that would anchor the pipe directly to the joist. I hardly ever use those. Um, I'm always using the bell or this. I can't remember the last time I used one of the straps to hang a piece of pipe. But I keep them in my plumbing mush just in case. Um, I knew you'd use them. Um, but there it is. These are the two options that I use to hang copper pipe. Thank you. Okay, I want to show you the strap hanger. Uh, very rarely do I use these. But I just want to show you what it was. They're cheap and expensive. A lot cheaper than the bow hanger or strap hanger. And sometimes you can get away with this if you can put the pipe right up on the joist and put this on. If it's clear, nice clear run to where you're going, it is possible to use these, but usually with old buildings, you never have a straight shot. So there's your strap. Now you're